us the time to choose Somebody wins and some lose I can see through your disguise Lay it down, hope for something better Looking at the clouds, the silver Alright guys, so plan is snook fishing today, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some mullet right off the bat early in the morning here. So these right here are the perfect size mullet that I like to use, about nine inches. Drop them in there. Take that one. Drop them in there. Two more. Now we got five. All right, so right there, number seven and eight. Let's do this. Let's fish. All right, I'm about to pull up to the first spot. What I'll be using today is a eight-aught circle hook right here on a heavy casting rod with a Shimano Calcutta. I'm gonna be throwing live mullet today, and we're gonna be targeting snook. All right, let's do this. Ow. Big snook right here. Right at the boat. Not eat, he didn't eat it. Didn't want it. Oh my god, dude. Man, honestly, there's like nothing I can do about that. I hope you guys could see that. It's like so dumb. That's like a 34, maybe 35 inch snook right there. Puts his head up to the mullet doesn't <laughs> doesn't commit I don't understand see a snook right here oh. stuck on him stuck on him oh oh my god mullet's mullet's still getting chased he didn't get him oh that was sick I don't know where the snook went that was so sick. Throw it back in there. Oh, on it again. Still can't get him. Snook too small or something? I think the snook's too small. Yeah, right here. Snook's too small. See if I can bring him to the boat. <laughs> right under the boat. Oh, he's still here. He doesn't even see me. That was, that was crazy. All the way back to the boat. Snook was too small. He's only about 23 or 24 to eat this uh, mullet that's like nine inches. A little, just a little bit too small. Oh my god. That was a jack. Oh, he came out. Jack on the wall. Holy crap. With a dead mullet. Oh, that's why the. That explains why the jack didn't get hit. Look at the hook. It got pulled through its head. Alright, there we go. All right, ready for some jack blow-ups? Let's do this. Oh, that's a little jack. No, I don't want him. No, no, no. I'll try to find the big ones. That one was only like five pounds. The other ones were like 10 to 15. All right, so I was tossing the paddle tail around a little bit and I caught this thing. I have no idea what this is. Not exactly sure, is this a tilapia? Maybe some kind of cichlid, I guess. Pretty cool looking though. Interesting, I see snook and then these things and mullet. Like I have no idea what this is. Comment below if you know what this is because I, I don't know. Thought it was like a little mangrove snapper because it was all red, but it's definitely not. There he goes. 
right, we're gonna be fishing some backwater tarpon now. I moved on from the snook and I found some some rolling tarpon. Oh, look at this gar. What the? What the heck? That gar wanted the mullet. That was weird. Real nice tarpon right there. Oh, let's go, big tarpon. Decent tarpon, not a big one, but. Oh, he got it that time, he had to have. Had to have. There we go. Oh, I threw it right there. Man. Oh, the mullet's still alive too. I just don't think he had it down his throat. I was like a 40 pounder. All right, mine mullet just got crushed by a nice tarpon. Here we go, he's got it. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't understand how they're not getting hooked. <laughs> I don't get it. He jumped before I even put pressure on him. He must have felt, I think, I think he might have felt the mullet move funny in his mouth. I was reeling in just a little bit of slack I had and, man, this mullet's been eaten twice. Oh, I know exactly why I didn't land him. Check this out. Hook pulled right into the mullet's eye. It's just unfortunate. Man. All right, keep trying. This mullet got eaten instantly. Instantly this mullet got eaten. There we go. Oh, the second this hit the water. Oh, back in the boat, back in the boat. Oh, get out of there. Oh, there we go. Drawing motor. This is not a bad one. Finally, after so long, so many missed fish, I'm hooked up. The second this hit the water, the mullet hit the water and the cork just went straight under. Tarpon had it in his mouth. Oh my god! Oh my god, this thing's jumping so high! This is a good fish. He's coming under the boat, this is the hard part. Oh my god. He's right at the boat now. Oh my god. I'm out of breath now. Finally. I've not caught a fish spring break, really winter break, spring break, and now visiting home in, uh, I think April. I think today's April. Finally, hooked up on a good fish. Stuck him pretty good. He's jumped four or five times now. It's the hardest part to landing a tarpon is this scenario right here. When they're starting to wear out and getting near the boat. There, there he or she is. Nice tarpon, probably maybe 30 pounds, 35 maybe in that range. See if I can get her in right here. All right, let's go for this. That's not a bad fish right there. Maybe uh, probably in, probably right at 30, in between 30 and 35. That's a nice tarp, and I'm not gonna take her out of the water, but not bad. Totally slam the mullet. Second it hit the water, it was on it. You go ahead and just oh, barely hooked. Came right out, not a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and just let her go real quick. No need to. I'm not gonna take any pictures. Oh, 
There she goes. <sighs> awesome, guys. <sighs> I'm not sure how much battery my GoPro has, but that might be the last fish of the video. <sighs> I'm gonna try to get another one, no promises though. That was sick. All right, so right there, what we're using was an eight-aught circle hook, and I believe this is 40 pound fluoro. I'm not 100% sure, I think it's 40, but uh, don't quote me on that. 40 will work for any size tarpon in that, uh, in that range, and it's perfectly fine, but I'm pretty sure this is 40, and it's really not, it's not stressed at all. Like, there's very little abrasion. I hooked that fish pretty much perfectly, and what's amazing is that that fish jumped like three or four times, and the hook never fully pierced the lip. It was really just holding and hugging her, which was, I, I guess, pretty lucky. I don't know. But I've, I don't think I've ever really landed a tarpon where I just grabbed it and the hook just came falling out of his mouth the second I took pressure off. But crazy stuff right there. That was sweet. Some cool jumps and can't wait to watch that when I get home. I'm sure that that's going to look real sick in a video. All right, guys, so I'm going to be calling it there. But uh, I just want to tell you guys a quick story of what just happened after I landed the tarpon. Uh, both my GoPro batteries were dead and I decided to just put the GoPro down for a little bit and just uh, just say, I just said I'd, I'd turn it on whenever, you know, I got the chance to. If I landed a good fish, I'd just turn it on in video. But right as I took the GoPro off, I start going down the bank, right? And I have a live mullet on and about 40, 50 feet down the bank, I see a really nice snook coming down the bank. He's probably about 35. And he's sitting in about four feet of water and it's kind of brownish, but I could still see him really well because of the yellow fins of the snook. And so I toss it right in front of him about five feet and it lands, hits the water, and, it, and the mullet shoots up towards the surface and the snook shows interest in it and he comes and chases it up. And the mullet takes off and gets about three feet in front of the snook, right? And out of nowhere, a fish about the same size as the snook, about 35, in between 30 and 35, comes up and just hammers the mullet off from the, off, like right in front of him, just steals it from him, grabs it. Like, as I set the hook, a real sharp head shake, or like really back and forth really fast. And, this fish thrashes and comes up to the surface and shakes its head and it's the biggest trout I've ever hooked like by far this trout was like 10 pounds easy and in between 30 and 35 inches like it was not much smaller than the snook and unfortunately I just didn't have the camera rolling today but it, it was crazy and what happened was he takes off a little bit and shoots off towards the bank and jump like kind of jumps again does that half head shake coming down the coming out of the water and basically just launches the hook away after I, I kind of bowed to him and just let him shake his head and the hook still he just launched it out of his mouth unfortunately but yeah other than that hit the subscribe button hit the like button and i'll see you guys in the next video